Hey guys, welcome to another Dollar Tree haul. So I feel like it's been just a little bit since I've gone to the Dollar Tree. There is a new one that just opened up a little closer to me than the ones that I have shopped at previously. So if you are in the San Antonio, Texas area, this one, well, it's a mixture. I went to the big one in San Pedro because that's just my favorite one. However, that is a little bit of a drive for me. One just opened up that's not as far and it is on TPC Parkway in the Stone Oak area. Just in case you guys know this location, you can check it out. It's a brand new one. There's a big Target next to it, which is one of my favorite Targets that I go to. That's where I get my groceries from whenever I share a Target haul. That's the Target that I shop at. So um, a little bit of this is from that store and then the rest is from the bigger one because the bigger one just always has a bigger variety and more options. And I am surrounded by dogs, so you might hear them in the background rummaging through bags, trying to get to stuff before I share it to you, but hopefully I can uh, get through this without any damage done. It is fairly early in the morning. I'm not even done with my first cup of coffee, and the sun's not even out. The kids left not too long ago for school, so I am nice and cozy in Texas. We have, like, the next three days are supposed to be, they're calling it a cold front, the highs are still in the 80s, however, in the morning, it's like 50 and 60, which is really, really nice for us right now because it has been very, very hot. So, without any more chit chat, I love sitting down and talking to you guys. You know that this is not your first video. Let's go ahead and get into everything that I picked up. It is like a little bit of everything, for real, like different holidays, foods, some beauty products, a little bit of it all. All right, so I am not separating this stuff into a different categories. I'm just gonna pull things out as they were bagged up. So the first item does happen to be from the Christmas section. Well, actually it does say, it just says Crafters Square, but it was with all the Christmas stuff and it says let it snow. This is like a DIY thing. So I saw something, I feel like it was in a Dollar Tree video, like a DIY Dollar Tree video that I watched last year and this person took one of these signs and laid it out on a t-shirt and had like a little water bottle with bleach and just sprayed it and then when you take this off you know that imprint is left on the t-shirt and i thought that was so cool so i want to try to do that maybe make a t-shirt for everybody in the family and if it does snow we can all like get a picture in it this year i don't know i just thought that was a really cute diy so i did go ahead and pick this one up it does not snow very often in my part of Texas, so I thought that that would be really fun to do. Another DIY I saw was with their frames. So I do not have a lot of pictures out around my house. I have a lot of like little knickknacky type decor, but as far as like family pictures, I don't have a whole lot. And there's a area in my kitchen, hopefully, I think that's where I'm gonna put this, that I would like to put this with either a family picture of all six of us or just of the four kids together. So this is gonna be a DIY and I'll probably share it on my Instagram. So I have five picture frames here and the DIY that I saw, they used the bigger picture frames, but I didn't want the bigger ones. I just wanted these small ones and I love the faux would look to them i thought that this would go really good with the rest of the decor that i have around my house switching gears for a minute out of the diy realm i already own one of these and it works really good it's called a dog grooming mitt we do have four dogs in the house and since we have multiple dogs i was like it would be faster when we do brush them out once a week if multiple people could brush them out so i only have one of these so either i will brush them out or my husband will brush them out sometimes my kids help but mainly it's my husband and i so i was like double team i picked up another one i was going to pick up multiple so the kids could help like four so we could all brush the dogs at the same time but there was only one like and i didn't even find this in the pet section which it normally is it was like on a random shelf somewhere else like somebody just set it down there so i did go ahead and pick up another one but i do love these it's just a glove that you put on your hand you can see there your hand goes in there and it has these really soft like rubber bristles on them and it does a really great job brushing out the dogs. All right, I have a little paint bin in my office for my kids. My younger twin girls are the only ones who really enjoy painting, while my oldest daughter loves to paint and do arts, um, loves to paint and draw and all of that, but 
she doesn't need these anymore and she kind of does that in her room my girls rose and pearl who will be nine soon they still you know make messes and need to protect the clothing that they wear so it was time for me to stock back up on some new aprons i've picked these up several times in the past and once they just get really really yucky or sometimes the strings will break if they're pulling on them too hard so it was time to stock back up and i just got one of each color so there's red, blue, green, and yellow. And does it tell me? It does. There are 20 inches, stain resistant. It does show kind of how it looks on a child, but they're definitely more of a child size, not adult size, but they work great. They keep the paint off of, you know, whatever the kids are wearing. So here you can see the colors better on that side, I guess, because it just showed the front one. But there's the four colors, and like I said, I love these. They work great, and but it was time to pick up some new ones. Back to Christmas. I don't think I got that much Christmas, um, but my kids are still at the age where they let me have a little bit of fun with their lunches, the, the lunch boxes that I pack for them. We do not pack a lunch box every single day. They do kind of look at the school menu and pick and choose, okay, this day I'd like to take lunch, this day I'm going to take a lunch. This day I'd like to eat lunch at school, what they have in the like cafeteria line, but this day not so much, I'd like a packed lunch. So it's kind of 50-50, uh, although the past few weeks, it has been more like 100% at school because of everything going on in our house. But the holidays, they're still at that age where they let me do a little bit more of like a fun theme for them. So for Halloween and Christmas, I'm going to be doing themed lunch boxes. I have shared several in the past. This year is going to be no different. So I found these and they're called containers. It's a four piece. They did have stars, yellow stars. And I feel like they had a third option. Maybe like a red bell or something. I think so. I think it was like a red bell. But I love the green Christmas trees. So I went ahead and picked these up. It is a four pack. It does have a little hole, like a loop that you could tie and turn these into an ornament to hang on your tree. If you do like a search and find kind of thing, I might pick up more closer to Christmas and do something like that. I think that would be really fun for a certain, um, for certain elves that visit our house. I think that would be really cool for them to use. So I did go ahead, but I did go ahead and just pick these up to, um, with the thought of using these in their lunch boxes as like some kind of treat container. For the fall, I have no idea yet what we're doing. If we're hosting anything, um, what's going on with Friendsgiving, we have not planned that kind of thing out. However, no matter what, my family, we're still going to celebrate Thanksgiving and have a lot of fun, fall themed dinners and, and things like that. So I love these little, they are disposable. You could keep them depending on what you're putting in them, but they are meant to be thrown away. Just an easy thing to use. And I'm pretty sure this is a two pack. And since I know, yeah, it says two pack. I'm gonna go ahead and open this so you guys can get a better look. So here they are, and you can see, compared to my head, they are a very good size. I like to use these. Now you could use this for like pasta salad or something, just put some wax paper in here, but I use this for either chips or rolls or something that's not going to leak through here because they are fairly thin. So both patterns are exactly the same. I just loved it. I feel like this is a new one this year. It's so pretty. They had matching plates and napkins and tablecloths and things like that, but I kind of only picked up, I mean, this is a massive haul. I have a ton here, but I only picked up things that I knew <laughs> that I was going to use versus other times where I'll like get everything the same matching thing, but then I don't end up using all of those paper products for that holiday. So I knew I wanted these bowls. They're super cute. The inside, I mean, the outside has it too, but you can see like the wood print better, like that wood grain stain going on. I really, really love those. So somebody's walking around my neighborhood and they're, I have my blinds open. <laughs> They're watching me film. They like stopped and stared for a second. Hi. All right. So uh, I did pick these up. Love them. They do have them out for almost every holiday. My girls, Rose and Pearl, are turning nine in November. And I picked up a few things. There's more. They just might be in a different bag. But I picked up some balloons. So their rooms are sort of... 
their doors. They have their own room and they are very close together. So in between, they have like a little walkway. It's Pearl's room, little, little hallway, and then Rose's room in between there on the wall. I'm going to hang these up on their birthday or like the night before their birthday. So when they wake up, they see it. I thought that would be really cute. So I did get two of the number nine inflatable balloons. Paint supplies, stocking back up. Uh, a lot of our paint brushes are, uh, the bristles have, you know, like been pulled out. They're just old. Sometimes the girls will leave them out. I've been getting on them to clean up instead of me cleaning up the paint messes like I used to. I'll have them do it. However, sometimes they do leave the brushes out and they get dry and they just get tossed. So it's time for new paint brushes. I picked up a variety. I think these two are exactly the same. They're just different colors. So I did go ahead and get both of them. One's red, one's green, and it is a five piece Crafter Square art brushes, small, medium, and large brushes. And then I got this three pack of the chunky brushes. It is never too early to shop for gifts in my opinion. And Christmas is a big one because Christmas time we're shopping for, you know, generally more people at once, you know? So I shop throughout the year, but I really start during the summertime around like Amazon Prime. We already have a few things stashed away. And now that we're getting closer, I'm thinking about all like the little things. So I am going to be talking about certain aspects of Christmas that you might not want your younger kids to be listening to or you know I'm, I'm going to be talking about the magical things that happen so I just wanted to forewarn you because like I said I did not separate this stuff so um, every now and then I'm going to be pulling out something and talking about it and you might not want you know certain little ones to hear so that's a little disclaimer but one thing is for our pets we do have four dogs and two cats. We actually have a chinchilla and a snake, but sadly the snake and chinchilla don't really get things for Christmas. They don't really care as much. Jasmine, our chinchilla, I'll probably get her like a special treat or something, but you know, they stay like in their own space. The dogs and the cats are all over the place. So long, short story long, like with anything. Oh, and Polly's walking, walking in right now. Um, I think she knows I'm talking about her. I got some pet things to hold on to for their stockings. Everybody has a stocking in our house and I thought these were super cute. So Paige has her own little kitty that she just adopted. Her name is Mishka. And then we have a family cat, Polly, who has been with us since Paige was five and she turned 17 this year. So I, th I, thought, I thought these were really cool because they're just suction cups. We can stick wherever we want and the cats can play with them. I got the three different kinds that I saw. So this one is, or they're, they're all suction cup cat toys, but they're all different. So this one has a little mouse and a bell. This one is like a ball with some feathers hanging off of it. Polly loves anything with feathers. Like she'll play with it so much. And then this one has a whole bunch of different strings hanging off of it. So those are just gonna get stashed away for Christmas time. Here's the water bottle that I picked up for that bleach DIY that I'm gonna try out. And when I do that, I'll share it either in a, blog, in a vlog here on YouTube or over on my Instagram. Okay, more Christmas items. They had like gnomes everywhere, like everywhere, all over the place. They're very, very popular. I just picked these up because I thought they were super cute. They are ornaments. I think they're considered ornaments. Yeah, ornaments. I'm not going to use them as ornaments though. There's two little nooks upstairs in the hallway with, you know, in the kids area. Upstairs is completely the kids zone. So I figured I would use these two to a little, add as a little decoration in those areas. I always like go over the top and fill it with Christmas stuff. So I thought I would add these this year, but aren't they cute? These were the only two kinds that I saw um, and the Dollar Tree that just opened up, man, they need employees so bad. Like, I want to go get a part-time job there, but I don't because that'd be dangerous. But the store is so new and they don't have enough staff that when I walked in, I knew it. I was like, oh man, I feel, I just felt for these people. They, a little bit of the store was like actually unboxed and things were hanging up. And then there were a lot of empty shelves still but a lot of the shelves just had the boxes that like get sent to them when the trucks, you know, 
bring them in. The boxes were just sitting there opened. So we're like shopping out of the boxes. So this, these were in a box and then the picture on the box only had these two kinds. So I'm pretty sure these, these are the only two uh, differences that you can pick from. So I was glad that I found both of them, but this one is, he's got like a little gray sweater on with his striped hat. And then this guy has a red sweater on and then his hat has like little white polka dots on it. So I thought they were super cute. I picked those up. There's a lot of people walk in my neighborhood this in the morning. Like, I feel like I need to go out and go for a walk now. They're, they're getting me motivated to get some exercise done today. But on the flip side, I wanna close my blinds because everybody's looking at me, talking to you guys, like holding things up. I've never filmed this early in the morning before, so I don't, I don't know, but the sun is coming up, so hopefully the lighting is a little better. All right, I did get quite a few different food finds. I love going to the Dollar Tree for that because sometimes, you know, my kids' favorites, I'll buy in bulk, but every now and then I just like to pick up a few of each thing, so it's just a little bit of change for the kids. So this one I thought was really cool. I believe only two of my kids are going to eat these. Uh, and my husband probably, my big kid. But this is Pringles, so name brand, dollar. Not quite sure how much one of these is at the store. I'd have to look it up. But it's fried onion ring flavor. I've never seen that before. And my daughter Pearl and Paige love fried onion rings. So I thought that they would get a kick out of trying these. And hopefully they're good. It's coffee break time. I see a bag full of food here, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through that. So I have a couple different bags of chips, and that is because there's this, I'm gonna pop up a picture. If the camera's moving, Oliver's laying here and he's like moving around a little bit, so I might be a little shaky for a second, but um, there's this really spicy chip out there. I don't even know what it's called, and Mark and Pearl, my husband Mark, my daughter Pearl, want to try it. Like, it's supposed to be so spicy that it actually comes with a pair of gloves. Like, you're not even supposed to touch it with your hand. You have to put the gloves on, then touch this chip. They're crazy. I don't have a heat tolerance for that. Like, mild spice is all I can handle, but those two, Love to try spicy things. So they wanna do, and again, I might share this on Instagram, we'll see. It's not, it's a video that I would have done like when I first started my channel, like the taste test type of videos, but I haven't done them in so long. People don't like them as much, so I'm not going to film it, but I might share it on Instagram. So they're gonna do like a little spicy chip taste, taste test this weekend. They're very excited about it. So I went ahead and got some different spices to lead up to that, and I'm sure they'll get some more that they wanna try just to make a whole thing out of it. It's just something fun that my kids like to do, and you know, we're spending one-on-one -on -one time with them, so it's gonna be Daddy and Pearl um, doing that this weekend. But one of the chips I got were these, my friend Kira loves these. She talks about these Zaps chips all the time. I don't think I've ever picked them up unless I pick them up to like gift to her. I don't think I've ever picked them up to try here in the house. So I finally got them. Pearl and Mark will try them and I did get the Voodoo Heat kind because they do have different flavors but I wanted to make sure it was gonna be more of a spicier flavor. So I got these Bugles. I am going to be sharing, pretty sure I already mentioned this, but Halloween themed lunches. I actually already have the date scheduled so that video should be posting. I'm gonna film them early. I'm gonna be sharing them all month long for my kids because they love it. But I'm gonna film a little earlier so you guys have time if you want or ideas, whatever, because I did pick up a few things off of Amazon for them. And that video is gonna post October 9th. I believe that's a Saturday, like the second Saturday in October. So one thing, I saw these and I was like, I used to love bugles when I was a little kid. I would put them on my fingers, like little witch, you know, witch nails. So I thought that would be really cool. I might have to like add a little note in there or a piece of paper or a pic that I can write on that says like witch fingers or something so my kids kind of get the idea of why, you know, it's Halloween themed. But anyway, I did go ahead and pick these up for that. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys used to do that when you were younger, put these on your fingers and then eat them off. I don't know, am I just weird or was that a thing? So I did get the nacho cheese. They had, I think, all three flavors there. Yeah, it says on the back. So there's original. Oh, they had four flavors there. Ranch and I believe they have like a barbecue. It shows caramel on the back too. That would have been great for like fall Halloween themed. The caramel flavor is like a sweet thing, but I just got the nacho cheese because I know my kids are going to love these. I don't pick these up every time. 
but I do like 99% of the time if I see them. These are one of my favorite like little, not really a guilty pleasure, it's just something that I like to pick up for myself whenever I go to the Dollar Tree. And these are popcorners in the white cheddar. I don't really buy these from the grocery store, I don't know why I don't, because I love them. But they're really good, I like them. My kids love cotton candy, so whenever I find like fun new flavors, I'll pick them up. And we actually have not had a movie night in two weeks, I believe, because of, you know, COVID that hit the house. Um, we were staying quarantined because only two of us in the house had it, so that everybody else like had the rest of the house, and my son and I were kind of quarantined to our specific areas, so we had to skip out on two weeks of movie nights, but this weekend we get to have another movie night. It's my daughter Paige's turn to pick the movie, so I thought we have a lot of like little snacky stuff, and I got a huge bag of candy and chocolate from the bulk stores, so we are set, but my kids love to try new things. So I saw this cotton candy, and this will probably be like their only sweet option. I'll put the cotton candy out, and then we'll make some popcorn, and the kids can kind of have a little bit of both. But this is cinnamon churro cotton candy. I thought that was cool. They have the regular flavors, like they have the unicorn poop, I think they call it. And then um, I think they have like a fruit punch or whatever. We've already tried those. So I only picked this one up. But it's, it's a nice size bag. I mean, it says one serving per container, but that's a lot. I just split it up between the kids. So normally I buy the six pack of Ghirardelli brownie mix from Costco. I believe I get it from Costco. Uh, the last time I went, they didn't have it. So we don't have any brownie mix in the pantry. And I do like to have like box mixes sometimes because my kids on the weekends will be like, I wanna bake something. Well, I say my kids, my daughter Pearl. Sometimes Rose, but mostly Pearl. She loves to help me out in the kitchen whenever possible. So I just saw this when I was perusing the food aisles, went ahead and picked it up just to have it on hand. And this is the Duncan Hines Chewy Fudge Brownie Mix. So like I said, I just don't have plans for this right now, but I like to have things like this on hand. Another thing I got to split up between the kids for, actually I think I was, when I picked this up, I was thinking movie night. This, the cotton candy and popcorn, but also I could split this up and add this to the kids' lunch boxes. So we'll see what we end up doing, but I only picked up one bag. This is the Flips, which is pretzels, and the flavor is s'mores, so they're covered in chocolate and maybe like a marshmallow flavored cream or something. So I went ahead and picked these up. I know my kids will love them. I found two items for my daughter Paige, my oldest daughter. So she does not eat meat. She eats a lot of vegan friendly items, vegetarian friendly items, but mainly it's just like the no meat. She'll eat dairy. Um, she does like a lot of non-dairy items, but I saw these and I thought these would be great to go over rice with her. She definitely tends to go for the um, like the noodle dishes and things that you can put over rice and that kind of thing. And these sounded really good. I almost picked up two of these uh, chickpea masala ones, but it does say two servings per container. So her and I can share this for lunch one day, but it's Saffron Road microwave ready in 60 seconds and then you just add your own like side if you wanted to put this over rice or quinoa or you know whatever couscous that kind of thing um, i think it would be really good over rice so again it is two servings per bag and it's the chickpea masala it says authentic indian chana masala and it does have the little vegan um, label on there and then this one is delhi Delhi or Delhi, I'm not sure. Potatoes, um, authentic Indian alu matar. I, I'm probably butchering that and I apologize. Um, but again, authentic Indian cuisine, microwave in 60 seconds. I don't think I would like this. I like the masala and like the butter chicken, that kind of thing. But she really likes this, so I went ahead and got that. And hopefully, um, these are good. The microwavable things are always kind of like hit or miss. But for a buck, I thought I would get them for her to try. All right, I'm gonna have to ask Kira if she like wants me to stop picking these up. I mean, I don't go to Dollar Tree that often. Definitely more towards the end of the year, I feel like, than, you know, the first half of the year. Uh, but <laughs> you know she likes these, and she had such a hard time finding them for so long. Now I think that they're a staple because I find them every time I go into the Dollar Tree. So I don't know, but Kira loves these. I have actually never tried them but I'm not really a huge spice fan. It does just say, I think it says mild. It says mild, but eh. Oh, you know what? These say vegan on it. I might ask Paige if she wants to try these. So I might one bag to Paige and one bag for Kira. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna give this to her or save it. 
I'm gonna have to give it to her because she watches my videos, so she's gonna see this. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and give this to her next time I see her and I'll ask her like, do you want me to keep picking these up for you when I see them or are you like, slow your roll, girl. So anyway, I did get two of these and they are the Snack Club Tahine, which is chili and lime seasoning peach rings. And these are the snack size. I feel like the when we originally first started finding them, they were in like a regular size gummy bag and now they're smaller, which is great. It says about two and a half servings per container, four pieces is one serving. So I did go ahead and get, like I said, two of those, but I'm gonna check with my oldest and see if she wants to try them. All right, I know I got a few more food items, but that was it for that bag. I'm going, well, I might have to close my blinds. Might get back, the sun is out. It's a little more you know, bright in here, but now people are walking their dogs. I walk the dogs at night and the dogs are barking. We'll see Oliver's like intensely looking out the window like, where'd you go? No barking. Good boy. All right, let's see if I have to pause anymore. But um, I did get another set of brushes. So these ones are all the same size. They are metal brushes, five piece, all purpose, duro bristle is what it says on there. So they're all the same though. It's got the little bristles up there. It's, a, it's like a medium paintbrush size and then the, the metal. Getting into a couple more Christmas items that are sensitive. So the first thing is our house is very big on the Elf on the Shelf. We actually have two elves that come visit us um, around Thanksgiving time until Christmas and they are Lindsay and Bunga. I always share their shenanigans over on Instagram. Like I will post a picture every single day and I've been doing that for over three years. I want to say it's like six years, but I've only been sharing it on social media for like three or four, but they've been with us for years since Paige was younger. Um, so I found one thing and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I thought it was super cute. Anytime I see anything else, I pick it up. Like I have two huge bins. I need to pull them out before I buy anything else and make my plan so I know. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm constantly going to be having bins. But my kids, their ages, if you're new, Paige, my oldest is 17. So she already, you know, is over it. And then my younger three, Bryce is 10. He'll be 11 in January. And then Rose and Pearl are our twins. And they are going to be nine in November. So they're already like... Did, did you do that? I mean, last year there were a couple days where they were like, you know, give me the stink eye. And I know it's just a matter of time. Like Paige was over all the magical aspects, which makes me teary eyed for at least a year or two before she actually fessed up and was like, by the way, I know. Um, so my younger three might, and they're just letting me enjoy it a little bit longer. Um, but I'm going to enjoy it as long as they let me because I love it. It's just, I love Christmas time. It's my thing. I love doing something special every single day. It's just my thing. So I found this <laughs> and it says Elf Squad. It is a rock. It does come with paint, but most of the time this paint is dried out and like the little itty bitty cheapo brush. Um, so I'll probably use my own paint and my own like other cheapo brushes, but they work a little better than these small little rinky dinky ones. But it says Elf Squad on there. I thought that was super, super cute. Um, and then it's a DIY rock painting kit. Now they did have other ones. I just was drawn to the Elf one. So I did pick that up with our elves in mind. And then some more things that I'm going to be using for stocking stuffers. Um, my son Bryce has the like cap gun, pistol gun or whatever that just makes a little bang sound and he's out of these. So I just went ahead and got two of the ring cap packages. There's 96 shots in each of these and this is just gonna go in his, it'll either go in his stocking or for advent. We're really big on advent too. Um, I haven't decided yet, but It'll be something for Christmas. And then this is just something funny. Um, my husband and I don't really give gifts to each other for Christmas time. We opted out of that a long time ago. Um, we focus on the kids and other family members for Christmas, but we do stuff each other's stockings and gift each other our stocking each year. And we never like put a price on it. Like some years, 
you know, he'll spend more, I'll spend more, whatever. It's always different, um, but we just stuff each other's stocking with whatever we think they would like. This one, this is just something funny for Mark because he used to love, like he grew up watching He-Man and there's like a new version on Netflix or something like that that he started watching. They had all the characters. I have no idea if He-Man is his favorite character, but he's the only guy that I picked up. I might have to ask, like have Paige be sneaky and start talking to him about it and see who his favorite character is. So if it's not He-Man, I can go pick up the other one. So they had like Skeletor, I don't even know any of the characters because He-Man wasn't a thing. I mean, at least not in my eyes when I was growing up. I never watched it. So I don't know who the characters are, but they did have, I assume all of them. They had a, a good amount, at least five different characters there. So I did pick up He-Man um, that he could either set out here on his side of the office or take to work and put out. He has like a little windowsill in his office that he has random things that the kids have made him. And I thought this might be fun just to sit out there. But yeah, I picked this little dollar figuring up to go <laughs> in my husband's stocking for Christmas time. more balloons. So I picked up two different options because I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to go with. <laughs> I might do both of them since it's two, you know, happy birthday two times for two girls that are having a birthday. So the first one I picked up is just a gold and I got, they did have these ones in silver also, but they only had the numbers in gold. So I just got gold. Um, but this is just like gold foil lettering and it does spell out happy birthday. So I got this one. And then they had the balloons that match the number nine. So I got these also, and it says they're both separate, but you can buy the happy and then B day. So you just blow these up. And again, I'm just going to hang these in between on the wall that kind of connects their bedrooms upstairs. Okay, we're getting into some Halloween stuff, items that I picked up for the kids' lunch boxes. So one, I got napkins and I wanted to show you guys the different sizes. So these are like your regular napkin, right? They're called party napkins. There's how many in here? 20. There's 20 in here. So I love this print with the gray, white, and orange spiders with a black background. I thought that was really cool. So I did pick these up for the kids lunch boxes for the month of October. And then I got these. So I don't do like a specific like fall themed lunches but I will pick up like fall themed treats and snacks and stuff like that as they're like little special thing in their lunch boxes and every now and then like I have a pumpkin cookie cutter that you know goes for Halloween and just any time during the fall and November like Thanksgiving ish so I'll use that sometimes on sandwiches but the main thing is I just switch out their napkins for the different seasons and things like that so I did get these ones which you know are more lunchbox size these ones are also called party napkins and there's 24 in here but I love these I thought they were really cute I might put this in Bryce's and he come home that day and be like, mom, that napkin was too girly and switch to something else. But I really love them. I thought they were cute. So I did pick those up. And this is the same print that matches the bowl that I shared earlier. And then I got some fun things just to add in. The kids sometimes toss this stuff. It's just all about presentation during the holidays. But I got a bag of rings and they had different options that you can pick from. They had some with like green and purple. I just stuck with the white, black, and orange to kind of go with the napkins. And this is a variety. So you can just buy a bag of like the spiders, but this one has spiders, skulls, and bats in there. So I thought that was really cool. I went ahead and got this. Sometimes I will like the baby carrots. I can stick these on each of the little baby carrots and then the kids will sometimes come home with them on their fingers or they're, you know, they'll give them to their friends, that kind of thing, which I might tell them not to do this year just to be a little more safe on the safe side. Uh, but yeah, sometimes the past couple years they've come home with these on their fingers. <laughs> so that's really fun. I got those. And then I thought this was kind of cool just to add into their lunchbox. And it's just a whole bunch of little heads, skulls. Yeah, so I thought that was cool. Bryce will probably get the biggest kick out of this. 
in there. Um, if I have, normally I don't pack like pudding or anything, but that would be really gross, right? Like melted body and then this head in there. Uh, but I'll figure something out. But just got this as a little, you know, decoration to add to their lunchbox. And then I've done this in the past and my kids absolutely love it. They go bonkers for it. They think it's really cool. I will pack them like a breakfast for lunch and um, they're like, it's also considered their sweet treat. Like I don't give them anything extra like candy or chocolate or anything like that, but they'll have a donut and you put little googly eyes, um, like the edible candy eyes on there. And then you put some vampire teeth in the middle and it makes, you know, a vampire for Halloween. So my kids love it. I do it every single year and they always come home and they're like, oh, I loved it, mom. So I did get some more teeth. I might have some left over from last year or I might've just chucked them, who knows, or, you know, put them in like a Halloween bag and donated it or whatever. But I did go ahead and pick up some more just in case. And these are glow in the dark, which are always fun. Um, so anyway, there's 12 in there pick those up. I am not decorating my house this year. Last year I went all out for Halloween because we did not go trick-or-treating around the neighborhood. Um, I had Kira and her family over and we did our own little Halloween party in the house with just our two families. We did a little like a fun scavenger hunt style trick-or-treating for the kids. They loved it. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do this year. If we are going to opt to trick-or-treat, our neighborhood has already put out a thing saying yes we're doing trick-or-treating. I'm not 100% yet. Um, or if we'll have another party, but as far as like decorating for the entire season, I am opting out of that because of like working on different rooms in the house and having puppies in the house, I don't want to do it. So I'm holding off on decorating. It's not even going to feel like Halloween. It's going to be so weird not having decorations out, but I'm holding off until Christmas. I can't not decorate for Christmas, so I will decorate for Christmas, um, but I'm not decorating the house for any holidays until then. It's going to be weird. I know. But I did pick up some hand soap and I thought this would be really cool to have in the half bathroom. So this is, and you can reuse this container. So I don't know what happened to the tag. It must've come off somehow in the bag or something. Um, but this already has hand soap in it and I forget the scent. I think it was like, yeah, I really don't even know. I don't know. I was going to try to think about it, but I don't know. But I just thought that was really cool, especially because you can reuse this bottle and that would be really neat sitting out in the half bath which I'm hoping to finish that makeover this weekend. There's a few tweaks that I need to do to it um, so I can share it with you guys really soon. All right, another piece of home decor. I say another piece. I don't think I got any home decor other than this unless you you know count my hand soap as home decor. But I picked this up. I thought it was really pretty um, just on its own. I can add it somewhere or I can also add like little picks or flowers or leaves or whatever in it. So I went ahead and picked that up. They did have this in like a navy blue color also. I had both in my hand and I was going to get both but I like the pop of white. So I'm going to put that somewhere in the house. I picked up this bubble mask for my daughter Paige and I am going to hold on to this since we're closer to the holidays. Most of the time when I pick up things from the Dollar Tree, I give them to the kids right away or if there's something specific like we're going on a long car ride or something like that, I'll hold on to it for that. But the closer we get to the holidays, like the last few months, everything gets saved for Advent or stocking. And then I go through it and decide what I want to do. So I picked this up for my daughter Paige. She loves the like charcoal beauty products and she likes face masks. And this is both of that in one. It's a charcoal bubble face mask treatment. So I did pick that up. And then again, I'll save it for Advent or stocking. Um, and I will be sharing those videos with you guys. I just don't know when, because as my kids get older, they do watch YouTube. They tell all their friends, my mom's on YouTube, you know how it is. So I don't want them to see things ahead of time. They're not going to watch a Dollar Tree haul. They don't care about that. But if I title something like what's in my kids' stockings or um, what my kids are getting for Advent, they might be enticed to click on it now that they're older. Um, last year, I've been able to get away with it. They didn't care, but they talk about it more and more and more about how cool YouTube is, things that they see. So I might not be able to do it this year. We'll see. I might have to be sneaky about it like add it into a vlog or something. I don't know yet. If you guys have ideas, let me know. So sticking with Christmas, I did get something for the puppies. I got two of these. I've never picked these up before. I don't even know if these were a thing when our older dogs were younger, um, but I don't remember ever picking anything up like this. I always just got them regular toys, but this is kind of cool. These are called IQ. Well, this one's just called a treat puzzle. This one's called an IQ puzzle. So we do have two puppies in the house. Oliver and Lily, um, and they both will not be one until 
into next year, several months into next year. So I picked up both of these for them and I'm just gonna hold on to them. We also get a bark box in every month for them um, with treats and toys. And my two older dogs have been over the toys. Like I pick them up toys and they don't care. And now they're like into them again. They see the puppies playing with them and they're playing with them. So I just get one box and they share. It comes with like three to four toys, which is perfect. They all share and it comes with some treats. Um, but I might pick them up like a couple extra things for Christmas this being one of those or two two of those so I got the purple one for Lily and then I got this blue one for Oliver and he just has to kind of use his paw and move this around to get the treat maybe pop this out I'm not gonna open it so I'm not quite sure yet and then this one you can kind of tell you put the treat you push that up and cover it and she has to kind of push it down to get the treat out so I did pick both of those up to save for Christmas I'm sure Christmas this year is going to be absolutely nuts with puppies in the house and opening presents and stuff all right, so some more, oh, it got dark there. Let it, I'm looking in the viewfinder, let it lighten up a little bit. All right, um, whenever I see these big canvases, I pick them up. Um, and sometimes I'll pick up three, four, six, whatever. Uh, but like I said, all three of my girls love to paint. My son is totally over the arts and crafts. He was into it for a while when he was younger, but now he's a preteen and he's like, mm, no, <laughs> outside of playing or video games. Like that's his life. So uh, I did pick up some for the girls though, because they love to paint and draw and color and arts and crafts and all the things. And my oldest daughter is very talented and she does that as well. So whenever I see these big ones, I think it is a fantastic deal. How big are these? They are 11 by 14. Now they are very thin. They're not like the big canvas prints or anything like that, but they're big enough to be worth it for a dollar. Because you go to Michael's Hobby Lobby, anything like that, and you're paying a pretty penny for canvases to paint on. And you know, sometimes Rose and Pearl just wanna play with the paint. It's not like they're doing some masterpiece to hang up somewhere. They just wanna play with the paint. So I like picking them up from the Dollar Tree. I used to pick up the smaller ones and every now and then I will, but I do, I just think this is a bigger bang for your buck. So I do like to pick up these big ones when I find them, which is not all the time. So I picked up some stickers for Kira. This is something else I need to hold off on because I'm sure she's got plenty of stickers now. But again, she had such a hard time finding like food themed stickers for a while that now when I see it, I snag it and I give it to her. So I picked these up. I thought they were super cute. It's all sorts of food. So I think both sides are the same. There's 92 on here, but there's an eggplant, a mushroom, broccoli, banana, carrot, uh, bell pepper, an onion. I thought that was really cool, a pineapple. So if she's making like beef stroganoff or something like that, she could put a little mushroom by it. You know what I mean? Because most of the time you put mushrooms in it. We don't here in the house because the kids are not huge fans of mushrooms. So I, whenever I make any kind of stroganoff, I omit the mushrooms, but I know she does. Um, for eggplant, you know, if she's making like eggplant parm or something like that, she could use that sticker. I just thought these stickers are really cool. There's a pear. Mason loves pears. So she buys them almost weekly. She could, you know, put that on there or whatever. So I thought that was, these were really cool. Just a variety of, um, food items on there. And then speaking of food items, I do have quite a bit more. Um, I, okay. So I've seen these going around everywhere. They have like four different kinds all four were in my store and at first i was like oh i have to get all four but then as i thought about it i was like but not everybody in my house likes oatmeal so i was like mm, i'm the only one who likes pumpkin spice so i didn't pick up the pumpkin spice i didn't pick up the apple one because we have apple one in like the quaker brand and then gingerbread was the other one and i was like i don't know if anybody would like that but this one is hot chocolate flavored oatmeal I think that would be right up my kid's alley, especially if I made this with like a cup of hot chocolate for them, like on the weekend for a fun little breakfast, add some like a little fruit charcuterie board or something like that. This might be fun. So I did just pick up the hot chocolate flavored oatmeal. Autumn Mills is the brand, but just know they did have several other flavors for the upcoming holidays that you might be into. I just picked up this one. I did not pick these up when I first saw them at the first store. And then the second store, they had these in two places. And I didn't pick up, pick them up in the first place, but I picked them up in the second spot that I saw them because I was like, stop telling me to get you. I love these pumpkins, but the, the hankering for them is unreal. Like I will eat way too many. And not, I mean, I'm just being totally honest. I will eat way too many of these this holiday because I love them. 
I love them. It's like candy corn. I used to love candy corn, but then I found the pumpkins and I love the pumpkins. Whenever I'll buy like the mix bag because my kids like the candy corn, I just pick out the pumpkins and eat the pumpkins. So I got myself one bag and let's just hope, fingers crossed, that this is the only bag I buy for myself. I'm gonna put this in my nightstand also. So it's only for me, nobody else can eat them. And like I said, hopefully it's the only bag that I buy that I, you know, gift myself, treat myself for this season. But then, that, I, I don't know if that's going to happen. But I did pick this up because it's a tiny bag. <laughs> and hopefully it won't be that, that bag. Let's see, there's five servings in here, four pieces per serving. And it's 120 calories for four. For four pieces, it's 120 calories. Oh my gosh, these are so bad. But they're so good. So I picked them up. Now you guys know. I have a, a sweet spot for pumpkins. All right, I did pick up something for my oldest daughter. Um, she is not a huge huge sweet treat eater um, but every now and then I'll see something that I know that she likes and I'll pick it up I did ask her when I went to the Dollar Tree if there was anything that she wanted and the one item that she asked for I could not find in the two stores that I went to so hopefully I can find those sometime in the future the next time that I go because uh, she really hardly ever asks me for much uh, but I know she likes Rice Krispie treats and this is not something that I typically pick up at the grocery store so I did find this big one it does have M&Ms in it I was trying to find just a normal Rice crispy treat but they only had the ones with the M&M so hopefully she'll still like this if she's like mm, no I don't like the chocolate I'll just cut this into three and give it to my three younger ones and maybe I'll buy a box of Rice crispy treats for her the next time I go to the grocery store but I did pick this up with Paige in mind and then for the younger three I picked these up I don't like getting these ones for them all the time uh, because they're king size but again I might go ahead and just cut these in half and put them in little baggies in the pantry so they're not eating this whole thing because half of the time they waste it they'll like eat three quarters of it and then throw it away which it's not the end of the world but it's wasteful you know at the end of the day it's wasteful so um, I did pick these up though because they're a different flavor than I normally get in the smaller bars and boxes at the grocery store and they're s'mores so it's Golden Grahams, S'mores, Treats. Again, it's king size, so it's huge, but I did pick up three of them. That might be something good to add to their lunch boxes also, with like for a fall treat because it's s'mores, um, especially if I cut it in half. I won't put that whole thing in the lunch box. That's too much for them. All right, I got another spicy thing for Mark and Pearl to try this weekend. And these ones, I feel like these ones are new. So it's Cheetos Crunchy Flame and Hot, which has been around for a long time, but this says extra flame and hot. So, ooh, I don't know about that, but I did go ahead and pick this up to add to their little spicy chip taste test. Back to Christmas talk, I did pick up two journals. The sticker says notebook with lock, 80 pages in each. I picked these up for Rose and Pearl because every time, and I went back and forth on this because, you know, they do like a Scholastic book fair a couple times, few times during the school year and the girls always want to get the journals or the notebooks, the diaries, whatever with the lock and key and they're like 20 bucks. <laughs> so I do, they do get them. I do let them because I let them pick out three to four items each for them because a proceed of that proceeds go to the school, helps the school out. I'm all about that. Um, but it's just so expensive. <laughs> so the Scholastic Book Fair is actually going on right now. Last year and this year, it's all online. We can't go into the library and shop anymore. Um, I used to love doing that because I, you know, get to go into the school during the school day. The kids get to get out of class for, you know, like 20 minutes and walk with me and pick out their books. Um, but the last couple of years, we've just done it online. So I went ahead and just picked these up when I saw them for a dollar, <laughs> a heck of a lot cheaper. And I'm gonna save these again for Advent or their stocking. But I thought that was really cool. They had at least two more designs, maybe three, maybe five in total, I'm not sure. But I picked up the rainbows with the hearts for Rose. And again, it does have a little lock and a key. And then I picked up this one with all like the words and phrases on it for Pearl, same lock and key. And it says like, future is bright, good things are coming, yes you can, superstar dreamer, unique, spread kindness, all the fun things. So I did get those for a dollar versus, you know, 15, 20, taking away those proceeds from the school. I feel a little bad about it, but they'll, they'll pick another book in its place, you know? I went back and forth on getting this, but obviously I got it, because I'm not quite sure where I would put it in the house just yet, but it is super cute, it actually already, broke 
It had a little, um, I don't even know what it was. Was it a rope? Was it like a cord? I'm not sure. It had something that you could hang this, but it broke somewhere in between. Maybe the dog walked off with it. I don't know, because it was sticking out of the bag. I'm not quite sure, but it is super cute. It's a mason jar. You can see it's just a cutout. So whatever wall I put this on, that'll be the background. Um, it does have an E, which is our last name. Um, and then I just love this. So it's got the tin up here. It's got a little bit of ribbon there. It's got the white background. I thought it was really, really cute. But again, I'm not quite sure where I put it. I just like, I rarely find, th find things with the E. I always, find L I always find L for lemon, which is my last name. I did not change my name. Fun fact, I did not change my name when I got married. Um, but everybody else has E as their last name. So I went ahead and got the E, but we'll see where where I can fit that into our house. These are something that I pick up quite often at the Dollar Tree. My kids love them. I did get both kinds. So these are called Junior Dippers. Yes, Junior Dippers. There's five in each pack. And what it is, is one pack has pretzel rods to stick in the cheese, and the other one has little breadsticks that you stick in the cheese. So this is what I got for myself, instead of the pumpkin spice, because I think my daughter Pearl might like this as well. I say Pearl a lot with food because she likes to try new things. Like she's my, like she has an adult palate. She'll eat anything. She'll at least try anything. Bryce and Rose, more of like the child palate, a little bit more on the picky side, a lot picky really. Uh, sometimes I can get them to try new things, but for the most part, they're set in their ways for right now. They're stubborn. Um, and then Paige obviously picks and chooses what she um, likes to eat as well. So I say pearl a lot in my grocery hauls and stuff, but I picked up the maple brown sugar cream of wheat, which I haven't had in quite a while, kind of like grits. So I thought this would be good, especially, you know, maybe tomorrow I'll have some of this with my coffee and sit out on the back porch while it's, you know, 55, 60 degrees, which is so nice. So, so nice. But I did pick this up. How many? Three? Yeah, there's three uh, packs in there. So even though we live in Texas and next week is still showing that it's going to be in the 90s, which is ridiculous to me, um, we are coming up into a cold season where it'll, you know, drop a little bit. Lips are going to get chapped. Um, and allergies kind of make our lips a little chapped as well. So I went ahead and got a chapstick for each of us girls. The boys don't really get chapped lips that often, um, but I did get the same one also. This is Vaseline, which is a name brand, and this is lip therapy with cocoa butter or cocoa butter with petroleum jelly. So I got four of them because there's four girls in the house. So we can each have our own and hopefully we don't get some severely chapped lips this year. Sticking with the beauty products, I know I got a few other ones, but Rose and Pearl need some different, I've never really bought them makeup brushes. They just have the little itty bitty ones that come like with the makeup packs that I buy them. So I went ahead and got some brushes for them. This one is an angled contour brush. They're going to use it for whatever they want though. Like they're not doing their stuff correctly. You know, they're just playing with it. So I did go ahead and get that one for them. I do have a couple more, but it's just in a different bag. And then I saw these and I thought these were kind of cool. So I don't know if I'm going to just have this in my stash in the linen closet in my bathroom, or if I'm going to hold on to these for like Advent or something like that. But I thought they were really cool. They're called shampoo bars. So it's a moisturizing formula. Well, the Berry Bliss is a formula with olive oil and coconut oil. It comes in a travel tin, which is really cool. You could just take this instead of a little, this would be cool for like on airplanes too, if you're not uh, checking a bag, cause it's not liquid. Um, but it says last up to 50 washes. You just lather between wet hands or directly onto hair, massage into hair, rinse, clean, voila, is what it says on the back. And then this one was really cool. It's called Ocean Waves. And it says it's with seaweed extract and sea salt. I thought Paige might like that or, you know, Rose and Pearl for something fun, like to change up their bath or shower routine. I don't know. I just picked these up because they seemed interesting, but I'm not quite sure if it's going to be like a holiday thing or if I'm just going to have it as like a backup in my closet. Here's some more brushes. So I got the eyeshadow brush. And then I got the blush brush. But like I said, the girls aren't gonna like use this one only for eyeshadow and this one for blush. They're gonna use it for whatever they want. They just needed some extra like bigger brushes. But the prints on them are really fun. The sun just went behind a, a cloud, so it's getting dark, but I like the prints. I'd like to say I'm almost done, but I do still have uh, two big bags full of stuff. 
All right, I got some Takis. This is something that I pick up quite regularly whenever I go for Pearl. She loves these. Sometimes I'll pick them up for Bryce, but he asked for something different this time. Actually, I picked up some treats for the kids and they already had them. They had like their own little impromptu movie night the other day. And so I picked up Bunch of Crunch. That was what Bryce picked. I picked up the, oh, oh, the star mix of the gummies for Rose and then the banana like flavored gummies for Pearl. That's what they asked for. So those three things I picked up too, but they're not here because they're already consumed. So I got the Takis, which is normally what Pearl asked for, but we're saving these for their like spicy chip challenge. So I got those for that. This item, and I have a couple other items, I picked up with Christmas in mind, but not necessarily for my kids. I picked them up because I thought they would make great gifts, and I haven't made my Christmas list yet. It's a little too early for that, but I need to go ahead and do it now that I'm out shopping. Um, and I just thought this would be really cool. There are a few boys in our life that love Legos, and I thought this was fantastic. So this is a block storage case. So you can, I'm not going to open it because it's going to be a gift, but this top just pops right off. You can use it to store Legos, but then the top is like a big Lego plate that they can build on. So um, either just to have like a small one out on the go, or if like you're picking up your kids from elementary school, but then you have to, you know, car ride line, go to middle school, pick up an older kid, your younger kid can play with Legos in the car, you know, that kind of thing. Keep this in the car whatever, or at home, but I thought it was really cool. Um, it does show that it has four different containers, like, or it's sectioned into four different spots. So if your kid was not messy, like what kid isn't messy, but they could separate it by color, whatever, or just have four different compartments. I thought that was really cool. So I did go ahead and pick this up. Not quite sure, but I thought it would make a great gift. So I didn't want to miss out on it. I picked that up for Christmas in mind. And then let me see if I can find the other items that I picked up with Christmas in mind. All right, I should have got my other light out and turn it on because I hope it hasn't been dark this whole time. I'm looking at you guys, not in the viewfinder, and I just noticed that it was really, really dark. So hopefully it hasn't been too dark. Um, but this was something else that I saw and I was like, gosh, that would make a great gift or stocking stuffer or whatever. So I went ahead and picked up two of each because like I said, we have several friends, family, that kind of thing where the kids are a little younger and they like this kind of stuff. So I got two of these. It's a Dino World Shape and Decorate. It does say four years and up because it does have some small pieces in there, but it says create your own Dino World. It has like four different you know, not Play-Doh brand, but dough, like Play-Doh um, types in there with blue, yellow, green, and brown. And then it's got some trees, some dinosaurs, and then some like gems and rocks. I thought that was really, really cool for a dollar. That's awesome. It does kind of show you, well, it shows you on the front there too, but here's a bigger look on the back, like how they put it together. So I got two of these and then I got two of these. I just think, I mean, my girls would probably enjoy playing with this just for a little bit, but I got this for gifts. This one is a unicorn one, which is so cute. So this one comes with gems, some unicorns, um, a rainbow, although it's like a paper rainbow. It does come with some glitter stars. And then the dough colors are pink, yellow, orange, and blue. Like how cute is that? I think that is fantastic. What a great gift for a dollar. Just to like pick up a few of these to have as like a last minute thing. If you're like getting together with a friend last minute and you're like, oh hey, let's exchange gifts, but you're not prepared. I like to have a little gift bin in my closet for those reasons. So I'm gonna stick those in the gift bin, gift bin and like I said, I just think they would be fantastic gifts for the holiday season. All right, so this is something that I went back and forth on. Um, I saw somebody on YouTube in like a DIY or like a hack Dollar Tree thing use these in their freezers. And I was like, that is so cool because I have a lot of little things or like freezer bags in the freezer, like freezer meals. And these would be fantastic. Now they had the clear ones, which I was looking for, but I could only find the blue ones. So I was like, you know what? I want it at least, they're only a dollar a piece. I want to try them, see if they work. If anything, I can donate them. Um, they didn't like break the bank, but I got six because I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use it in our big freezer in the garage or like in the house just to keep things organized. But I got six because I thought that would be good, like on three shelves. So again, I just saw somebody use these in the freezer. They said it was great because it's got this handle. The kids, I could label it if I wanted to so the kids could go in there like one for breakfast or whatever and just pull it out and be able to see it instead of having to dig through bags that are like piled on top of each other, that kind of thing. Just to 
get the freezer a little more organized. Uh, so remember what I was saying I didn't pick up more than one flavor? <laughs> I must have forgot. I think I was thinking about getting the gingerbread for Christmas time and then I was like, eh, and then I guess I put it in the cart. I don't know, maybe I decided not to get it but it was already in my cart and I left it there. I kind of swore I only got the other one, but that's okay, the hot cocoa one. I guess I got the gingerbread one. I got it, brought it home with Christmas in mind. I'm not quite sure. I don't, I really, I must have just been excited to be out and shopping, but I did pick up the gingerbread one. Um, what's the date? Because yeah, January 14th, 2023. This stuff is very shelf stable. So I think Pearl and I will enjoy that in the month of December. All right, I closed the blinds because I feel like that sun was not helping me out much at all with like the light changing, dark and all that. So I really apologize because I haven't edited this video yet, obviously, but if the quality is crap, hopefully you guys just enjoy hanging out with me. You're just listening, not really watching and getting some cleaning done or something. I don't know. Uh, okay, I picked this up. So this was going around last year and I was never able to find it, but I think this is so cool for Christmas with the elves in mind. It's a fake security camera. How fun is that? And it like says, hey, by the way, this product is not a functioning video camera. I should just pretend. But obviously it's meant to use as like a deterrent for thieves trying to break into your house, robbers, whatever. Um, but I'm going to use this at Christmas time. I think this would be so funny to have something with the elves, like letting the kids know, hey, we're watching you all the time. We're watching you. So I did pick that up with Christmas in mind. Oh, I'm going to go get another drink of coffee and it's all gone. Today's going to be a two cup kind of day for sure. I got some more food items. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use these in the kids' lunches. I think this is like too fun for lunch. It might be a, if the kids decide to put it on as a bracelet and like wear it in class, it might be a distraction. They might get in trouble. So I might leave this at home, save this until I know for sure if we're doing any kind of like Halloween thing in the house or if we're going to go trick or treating, but I did pick up the candy bracelets. My kids are huge fans of the candy bracelets. So I pick them up um, more during the holidays or if like Mark and I go out or I'm out on vacation or something away from home for more than a day and I find some kind of candy bracelet, it's like a thing. I'll bring it home for the kids. So these are Halloween candy bracelets. There's 10 in here and it's the colors are green, gray, and blue. And then it has like a little skull on it. I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but again, my kids love those. So I pick those up. Now these I did pick up to add in their lunch boxes, just two of them. Cause you know, two eyes, you got two eyeballs in a lunch box at a time and they're googly eyes. And this is the double crisp. I had to make sure that it didn't have any peanut butter in it because the kids are allowed to take peanut butter in their lunch boxes because any any kiddo that has an allergy has like a different spot to sit at. Um, but as far as like snacks in their classroom, no peanuts are allowed this year, but I try to avoid that anyway in their lunch boxes. In the past, I haven't. I've always just made whatever for their lunch boxes, knowing that the kids are separate, but you just never know, you know, like if the kids don't wash their hands or whatever, or like Rose has some peanut butter on her mouth or her shirt and goes into the classroom and it gets, I don't know, it's just a whole thing, you know, I'm just trying to avoid it from here on out, trying to help the other parents out and keep, you know, kids safety, uh, top and center or front and center in my mind. But I did pick these ones up just double checking that they didn't have peanut butter. So this is going to go in the kids lunch boxes. And then also for their lunch boxes, or I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this cause I love my Systema stuff, like not sponsored. I've, I've been talking about Systema a lot lately. I feel like I just love their products, um, their containers and all that, they work fantastic. But um, so since I have those, I might use this and maybe the brownie mix to make a fun little treat. Not for their lunch boxes though, but for like at home or for Halloween if we do something. So I, I did pick these up. I thought they were cute. They had a few different kinds. I liked this one. It is a cupcake kit. It has 24 pieces. It's got some pumpkin and ghost sticks in there. And then the cupcake liner is orange and it has like a black cat, a pumpkin. It says boo, creepy, happy, Halloween. It has a haunted house, all the fun like Halloween prints on there. They did have other kinds though, if you didn't like the traditional orange and black. And then I picked this up, I thought this was fun, not something I'll put in the kids lunch boxes just to have um, at home or something. But this is a three pack, 
which is perfect for my three younger kids. And it's Kool-Aid Ghoulade Popping Candy in Scary Berry. <laughs> so I thought that was really fun. I don't know when I bought that huge box of goldfish, like at Costco or Sam's, but we are completely out. The kids took that every single day as their classroom snack to school until we were out. And Rose was like, give me some more goldfish. And I was like, girl, we have like granola bars and all these other things. But I caved when I was at the Dollar Tree. I told her I wasn't gonna buy goldfish, but I didn't buy it in the big pack. I just got three individual cartons. <laughs> so this is actually a lot. This will probably last two different snacks at school. So they can just leave it in their backpack and eat it until it's gone. Um, but I did, like I said, cave and got them goldfish. They just loving goldfish right now. So these are really cute. They're two ounces. So not like a ton, but it's more. I feel like it's more than the little packs have. At least it feels like it, maybe just because of the carton. But anyway, I got them three so they can take these to school as their school snack. Another stocking stuffer that I got for my husband, Mark. I don't know, I don't know if he'll use these or not, but he's been, you know, taking a little bit better care of himself. He has like a little routine set up under his sink. He's got a little bucket he pulls out and, you know, takes care of his face and all of that good thing. Good thing. So I thought this would be, be like another funny item almost for him, but this is called the Nobleman and it is cucumber under eye pads with vitamins A, C, and E, and it says deep puffs and soothes, a 15 minute eye therapy for all skin types, and there's five eye treatments in there. So I picked that up for him. Again, not like super funny, haha, -ha, but kind of like a, not like a serious gift in his stocking. And then also for stocking or advent, um, I, I saw this one first and that's what drew me because Pearl loves llamas and she loves like the bright colors. So I picked this up for her. It's just a little squishy. They had a ton of different kinds. I didn't see one that I was like, oh, Rose would love that one. Um, but I know she would want a squishy also because sometimes, you know, I'll have different things for them, but they're still twins, girls, same age. They still like to have the same things. So I found this narwhal that I think she would like and I picked that up for her. <laughs> How cute is that? But they did have different ones. They had, they did have a rainbow, but it was like the prime colors, not the bright fun or pastel colors. So I didn't think she'd be as into that one. I think she'd like the narwhal better because of the colors, but they did have different ones. They had a mermaid, that kind of thing. But these are the two that I picked up again for advent or stocking, who knows yet. Okay, we're almost done. Oh my gosh, finally. All right, I've got some more food finds. Um, I picked up two different kinds. Hold on, let me put these down. So I picked up two different kinds of these Welch's of fruit and yogurt packs, but I got three of each. I don't think I need three of each. I don't know, there's not that much. Like, look at the packaging, like for real. It's so misleading. Like, that's how much is in there. Just right there. Um, so I got these. These would be great for the kids to take as a school snack or for me to put in their uh, lunch boxes. So it is strawberry, and again, it's just fruit and yogurt snack. Strawberry made with real fruit surrounded by creamy yogurt. And then this one is blueberry acai. Yes, blueberry acai, same thing, real fruit surrounded by a creamy yogurt. So I picked those up for the kids. And then I got these. I was looking at them and I walked past them and then I went back and got them. So my husband Mark and daughter Rose love chocolate and peanut butter together. Like that is their thing, their jam, they love it. Anything with those flavors and they are all about it. They're gonna devour it. So this is pudding. And that's why at first I like just walked by. I was like, eh, it's just pudding. But then out of like the corner of my eye, I saw pie filling. This says pudding and pie filling, really, really small. And I was like, okay, I could turn this into a pie. That would be so good. And then I got two because when I was reading the directions, you do, you do need two packages to turn it into a pie. So look at that. And it is name brand. So it's Dove Peanut Butter Milk Chocolate Silky Smooth Pudding and Pie Filling. So it says two packages mix in with three cups of cold milk, um, beat it for one minute, pour immediately into an eight or nine inch pastry or crumb crust, and then refrigerate for three hours. And the picture, if I can get close enough, the picture on the back, oh, that looks so good. I think Mark and Rose would really, really love that with the holidays coming up. Um, you just put like either Cool Whip or your homemade whipped topping on top and then sprinkle some like chocolate shavings on there. 
Mm -hmm. That looks good. So I did pick these up with them in mind. And then last but not least, this was so cool. I have not seen this before. It's a glow a basketball set. It does say last for hours, add an extra glow to parties, camping, dances, and fireworks. It has a basketball hoop, six glow sticks, and then a glow ball. So it has this little orange ball that glows. The basketball hoop is green. It does not glow. It looks like a neon green. But then the little sticks you put in as the net and they're white or clear. So I did pick this up. I'm not quite sure. It looks like it might hang on the back of a door or you use like a command strip or something. Oh, it comes with does it say it just has a picture but it doesn't actually say what to do but I mean it looks fairly easy I feel like it comes with like a command type of strip or something so um, I got this originally thinking of Bryce for Advent or stocking um, or the elves also to use this somehow I thought that would be really cool and that way all three of the kids can use it like set it up somewhere in the game room upstairs or even down here somewhere so it's more like front and center and they see it more often I don't know I just thought that was really cool so for a buck I picked that up all right that is everything that was a really like talkative chatty haul but I feel like I haven't sat down and done one of these in a while and I really enjoy them I enjoy sitting and talking to you guys even though you guys can't talk back yet I gotta look at the comments um, this is one of my favorite things to do so I hope you guys enjoyed it this long Dollar Tree haul again I haven't edited it yet but I know it's long because I've had to change my battery twice I feel like my battery wasn't fully charged the first time because there's no way I sat here that long, but who knows? I'm getting chatty again. All right. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you guys like Dollar Tree hauls and you like when I share them, give this video a big thumbs up uh, because that just lets me know to, to continue doing so whenever I go to the Dollar Tree haul. I'll go ahead and sit down and chat with you guys for a little bit, share what I got, especially with the holidays coming up. I know a lot of you guys are, you know, shopping more at the Dollar Tree this time of year than, you know, earlier in the year. So with that, hit that subscribe button join me we're getting into some fun things coming up the end of the year is always my favorite I've got Croctober going on in October and then you know vlogmas is going to be here before we know it where I'm sharing a video every single day in the month of December hopefully I'll be able to pat myself on the back at the end of the year I don't know I'll make it but with that I'll see you guys in the next video bye